So there's this pretty interesting report out on the Hill, and actually we talked about uh, this topic recently of Biden people, uh, Biden surrogates, allies, supporters, calling on Joe, uh, Bernie Sanders to drop out of the race. Now, this piece on the Hill is titled, Biden allies want Sanders out sooner rather than later. And so uh, this article goes into some depth a little bit, and it actually provides us some of quotes from some Biden aides, mega donors, uh, and Dorsey's, etc. So one of the quotes here, it says, I think he should get out, one Biden aide said. It's a lost cause for him, and everyone knows it. If you really care about beating Donald Trump, you'd get out and help consolidate the party in what is already a very stressful time for the nation. It's not helpful to anyone to stay in, period. So, not a fan of democracy, obviously. But it's really interesting to me. He's under the impression that consolidating the party would be Bernie dropping out and endorsing him. Um, anybody who's not supporting Joe Biden, because I do think like 80-85% of Bernie supporters will probably vote for Joe Biden anyways. Because I think, you know, we look at Twitter and we see the online Bernie supporters and we think that they're all like, you know, these hardcore fans. But I think the majority of the populace is probably going to end up voting for him of Bernie supporters. But that chunk that are not going to vote for Biden, who are Bernie supporters... They're not going to all of a sudden start supporting Joe Biden uh, just because he endorsed him. He dropped out and endorsed him. And what I find funny is, you know, you're talking about if you care about beating Donald Trump. First of all, that's not my first priority and ever was. Beating Donald Trump, uh, beating Donald Trump is like taking cough drops for pneumonia. You know, you're trying to uh, mute the cough with cough drops when you need antibiotics for a bacterial infection in your lungs. You know what I mean? It's stupid. Um, so that was never my goal in the first place, ever. Uh, my main goal anyway. Um, and But the thing is, if you care about beating Donald Trump to consolidate the party, all you would have to do is make concessions and compromise. That's it. So if Biden were to choose Bernie as his VP, they would sweep easily because you'd have the you'd have a united party and the corporatists, the corporate sellouts, and then the progressives in the party because I would vote for a Biden-Bernie ticket, and I know some people wouldn't because of Tara Reid stuff, which I understand, but I do think a lot of people would end up voting for uh, a lot of people who wouldn't previously vote for Joe Biden would vote for that ticket if Bernie was on the VP slot. So that's one way. Another way would to at least try to take some left-wing positions. The main problem with that being that I don't know how I'm supposed to believe him. I can't believe him, but he's not even trying, though. I'm kind of taking the Hillary route, I guess. Um, it says, the aide also said Sanders is unlikely to win more policy concessions from Biden by remaining in the race. I don't think they can push Biden any more to the left than he's gone. But what he can do is solidify support and make sure we don't have another four years of Donald Trump. The longer they stay in, the worse it is. At a certain point, it looks selfish and self-centered. Somehow he's made this all about himself. Bernie's never been about himself. It's always been about the move. And I think that's just crucial projection right there. Just keen projection. But again, to repeat, just Bernie dropping out and endorsing Biden won't all of a sudden solidify support or the party. That's not what's going to happen. And again, you're talking about blaming. This is the thing, right? The Democratic Party is going to blame Bernie Sanders for everything. They're going to find a way to blame us for everything. Even if Bernie dropped out now and endorsed Joe Biden, um, they would blame Bernie Sanders straight up. That's what they would do. And his supporters, they'd still say, oh, no, you're too divisive, blah, 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 blah. It's impossible to please these people. And so they're just looking for a way to blame them. But how are you going to blame Bernie Sanders for not consolidating the party when you're not even willing to compromise on literally anything to pull lefties towards you? I don't understand. So you're blaming Bernie Sanders for not consolidating support, which him doing that would do nothing. Him dropping out and endorsing Biden would not do anything to consolidate support. But you're not willing to make concessions that would actually consolidate support. Who's the real person who doesn't care about defeating Donald Trump? How about that? How about I flip that back on you? Okay. Um, and then it goes on. This is actually pretty, this one's pretty interesting, actually. So... It says, but some donors and fundraisers are getting antsy. So, of course, the donors and the fundraisers, these are the masterminds behind everything. They're the ones who are pulling the strings. They're the ones who fund these campaigns, the Biden campaign and these people. So these are the ones pulling the strings, fam. It says, he's had lots of time to bow out gracefully, and now he needs to do the right thing. One major Democratic donor said, okay, one major Democratic donor. It's April. We're dealing with a global pandemic. The country is in a deep recession, and the last thing we need is Bernie Sanders telling us what we're doing wrong. Give me an effing break. Time is of the essence. We all need to be on the same team right now. So, again, 
are you under the impression that if Bernie Sanders were to drop out, he would all of a sudden not give his opinion on what should be done in this uh, response to the pandemic that we're facing? In fact, the bill, the unemployment provision that was in the bill only because of Bernie Sanders is actually really the only highlight of the bill. The $1,200 that uh, is has been passed and the provision for 1200 bucks is actually garbage because it's barely even going to hit like half of the country. So a lot of people won't even get that 1200 bucks. But $1,200 a one-time payment is a measly garbage, right? Uh, but Bernie Sanders got an unemployment provision in where it ups the state's uh, max for unemployment by six hundred dollars. So like in California, I think it's like four fifty. That raises it to ten fifty a week. So that's four thousand dollars a month. Okay, four point two k a month, which is massive for four months. That is huge right there. Okay, that is huge. He got that through. So are you under the impression that Bernie Sanders would just stop giving his responses and stuff like that? I understand he would still be giving his takes. So I don't understand that at all. And he should be giving his takes. The corporate Democrats' response, dude. The suppose the front runner of the Democratic Party right now is literally opposing Medicare for all in a situation where we're facing a global pandemic. Seriously, he's still doing that. So that's another reason why I won't for vote for Joe Biden. His opposition to Medicare for all is incredibly, incredibly frustrating and uh, just a spit in my face and just a kick in my face. Um, here we go. Another a fundraiser. These are key words. When you see a fundraiser and you see a major Democratic donor, these are the puppet masters in the back. So he says, another fundraiser was more blunt. He's an a-hole. It's over. Bernie folks are clinging as they always do. So it's just like, do you really think that this is going to help you consolidate support? You know what I mean? Like, seriously, you're, you're calling him an a-hole and you think that that's going to make me want to vote for Joe Biden? Literally, to dude, I will never vote for Joe Biden. Ever. I will never vote for a guy who is as, as corrupt as he is, does not support Medicare for All or anything progressive, and is also uh, has Alzheimer's slash dementia. I will never vote for somebody like that ever. Um, and he doesn't deserve anybody's votes. And the fact that he's even leading right now, considering his mental state, is an indictment on the populace and the electorate as in itself. So if you want to consolidate support in the Democratic Party, you really want to unite Democratic Party, you want to walk the walk instead of talking the talk, you can appoint Joe Biden, you can pick... Bernie Sanders is vice president. That's what you can do. Or you can adopt some of the policies that Bernie Sanders and his supporters support. That's what you can do. An e easy solution, fam. Easy, easy, easy solution. Okay, very easy solution. Um, now, as you guys know, The View, you guys probably saw The View where uh, Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of the host sort of ambushed Bernie Sanders with these bogus questions. They would never do this to Joe Biden, by the way. They had him on They had him on recently. They gave him softball questions, per usual. But they're a bunch of corporate sellouts. They're millionaires. Whoopi Goldberg's worth $45 million, which is a lot of money. So her taxes would definitely go up. And then um, in addition to that, she's buddies with all the Hollywood people, the rich and the powerful and wealthy. So she's part of that group, is what you need to understand. But she, you know, Whoopi Goldberg... Uh, was like interrupting Bernie Sanders, not allowing him to finish his thoughts and his answers. Um, she thought that she was being some sort of checking of power, which is like, what are you doing? Like Bernie Sanders in some position of power. Um, and then Alyssa Milano says, thank you, Whoopi Goldberg. This moment in time is too important to take BS from our politicians. Alyssa Milano is one of the dumbest people, by the way. I think that she might be the dumbest person who talks about politics in the Democratic Party. I remember seeing an article she wrote saying we should nominate all of the Democrats at the convention or something crazy like that. I was like, what is wrong with you? Um, so there's basically this movement going on, and Alyssa Milano is obviously a, a Joe Biden supporter, um, but she's definitely the dumbest of the dumb. But this is not just an Alyssa Milano thing. This is all over corporate, uh, corporate Democrat media, corporate Democrat pundits and all of them. But at the end of the day, I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to see a repeat of 2016. Um, these idiots don't remember 2016, apparently. Either they don't remember or they're blocking it out on purpose. But what I see happening is Joe Biden's going to lose to Trump because he can't pull out the youth vote. Um, and, because, and Trump's attacks are going to be very, very efficient and they're going to land really hard because he's got a lot of ammo on Joe Biden. And because of that, you know, the dementia, uh, NAFTA, you know, Iraq, all of this stuff, right? Uh, I think all of that's going to land very heavily and it's going to work very, very well for him. 
Um, there, I just saw that he did an ad buy just recently, actually. So I think Joe Biden's going to end up losing to Trump, and then we're going to have to somehow figure out a way to survive four years of, of, of Donald Trump. And then uh, after that, you know, you move on to 2024. Uh, you kind of see what happens. Hopefully, we pick up some more progressive House seats. Um, but, you know, from there on out, we kind of just see what happens, see what comes up in terms of who our 2024 pick is going to be. Uh, some people saying at the 2020 Dem convention, they're going to install Cuomo, which I guess since the DNC is a private corporation, they can do whatever they want. But uh, yeah, so Biden allies calling on Bernie Sanders to drop out. And it's because they're afraid, you know, they're it's because they're afraid that he's bringing up stuff that Trump is going to use. But to me, it's a simple solution to that. To me, the simple solution to that is don't pick the candidate who's so flawed that you're worried about him being the general election candidate. Pick the candidate who doesn't have those flaws. It's a pretty simple solution, right? It's a pretty simple solution. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're too keen on that plan.